so the the pill is basically the oral contraceptive pill. Primarily, it's a it's women take it for contraceptive purposes. It's a short term, reversible form of contraception that's very reliable and very very efficient. So p women also take it for irregular periods. So it, what it does, women who suffer from irregular periods, painful periods, heavy periods, the pill also does alleviate a lot of these um, symptoms. The pill is very short term. I mean, you take it today, it works today. You don't take it, the next day it doesn't, it doesn't work. So the older the woman is, the you know fertility drops. So sometimes when they, let's say they've been on the pill for 10 years, and they decide to stop the pill in their late, late 30s, and then they're trying to get pregnant. Um, and then they find, oh, I'm having to go getting pregnant. That's not so much the pill. If they don't have any background um, reason as to why they are infertile, there should be no reason why they can't get pregnant, but some women in the late 30s experience of going pregnant because natural fertility falls the older they are. So that's age, age related is a confounding factor rather than a direct cause. The pill does not cause infertility and that's, that's a myth that I think we should actually dispel. If I take the pill on day one of my period, it is immediately effective. All right? okay. If I take it any other day in my day one, then you need to be on the pill for at least seven days um, before it's effective. So, so during those seven days, if you were to engage in intercourse, then the best thing is use barrier methods, um, condoms for example, or best abstain from intercourse for seven days first, and then after seven days of actively taking the pill, then you, then you are protected. So let's say I'm on the pill, okay, and I decide I want to get pregnant. So the best thing is finish the course that you're currently on, okay? so that your period comes on time rather than your period comes disrupted. Okay, So when it comes on time, then the, the next day, instead of taking a new packet, you don't take the pill. And then you can pretty much try for that following month. So that's it's quite fast, there shouldn't be any delay. If you miss the pill and it's less than 12 hours, so you take the pill, let's say, 8 in the morning, okay, um, and then 6 p.m., 4 p.m., you remember, oh, I forgot the pill, okay, so take it then, and then the next day, take it at 8 in the morning, so it's less than 12 hours, as usual, okay, you're protected. If you forget it's more than 12 hours, so what you need to do is take two tablets, okay, and then abstain from intercourse for at least seven days, because you need seven days of active pills before it's, you are protected again. Let's say you did have intercourse during those seven days, then it's best to see a gynecologist because you probably need emergency contraception. So if you're sexually active and you don't want to get pregnant, you can take it all the way to your menopause, right? Because technically speaking, until you reach menopause, um, there's always that small chance that you could you could conceive, although you know in your late 40s the chance is low, but it's not wrong to take the pill up to your menopause and then once you're menopause you stop the pill. So it's true that some women who go on the pill, there is a slight increased risk in getting blood clots. These women tend to be those who are more than 35, obese and a heavy smoker. So if you fall into that category, then pretty much you shouldn't be on the pill because your risk of, of a clot is, is higher than other women. As long as you need to contraceptive protection, um, you can be on the pill long term. Okay? So you can go more than a year. It, 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 there's, no, there's no hard and fast rule when you need to stop. 